The artist, her, who is revealing another side to herself as the star of Beauty and the Beast, a 30th celebration. And um, welcome to the show. Great to see you. Thank you. Great to see you. And, and I want to do something different that I, I've never done. I don't think most people knew to do. It's call you Gabriella Wilson. <laughs> yes. And you think it's important for people to know your, your real name now. Why is that? You know, it's it's really that I, I've really been finding, refinding my voice, and I think... You know, now I'm not wearing glasses. I, I can't be acting and, and wearing glasses. So I think it's time for people to really get to know the person behind her, you know, and her is me, but at the same time, it's like, it's just a, it's a, it's a new chapter in my life. Mm -hmm. And I think I'm really finding that connection. I'm allowing people to, to see under the layers a little bit, you know? And um, in the commercial break, Catherine Zeta-Jones came over and said, you have so much talent in one in person. <laughs> and now we all get a chance to see your other side of your talent and the acting side of it, because you will be the first black and Filipino Belle. Yes. How did that make you feel? What did that mean to you? Oh my gosh, you have no idea. The timing of it all, I mean, the, it's just a dream come true. Like I never thought I could be a Disney princess. Of course, every little girl wants to be a Disney mm -hmm. princess, but you know, I've never seen one that, that looks like me. So I get to be that you know, to little girls now, and that's such a huge deal. On top of being a producer on Beauty and the Beast, which is crazy, I got to you know, do a lot of the new arrangements and work with Alan Menken, the original wow. you know, arranger and producer. And it's just been such an amazing experience, just learning so much about myself and it's been a lot of fun, honestly. Being a Disney princess is fun. <laughs> and what was, your, what was your, your first reaction when you found out you got the role? Oh my gosh. I was like, what? No way. Like, Beauty and the Beast is so iconic. Mm -hmm. I was like, immediately I was like, I get to wear the yellow dress. Like, I have to wear the yellow dress. That's going to be the moment. Um, but I was so excited. I just, I got to unlock a, a new thing within myself. And um, that's why I say the timing was so great. Um, yeah, my inner Disney princess, which I think is this fearless and uh, joyful and just strong and kind of kind of brave uh, thing within within myself. I, I'm finding so it's been it's been a crazy, wonderful experience. And you're all about the music too. So, what is your favorite song from Beauty and the Beast? Oh my gosh, I think my favorite song might be the opening song, Belle, because you, it's when you first meet her. Well, can you her. give us a little... Um... Mm, I want adventure in the great white somewhere. Well, that's all, that's all I can that's give you. That's all right I now. need. That's what are you talking about? <laughs> 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 and then you, what's your... Um, you, were you a Disney fan when you were a kid growing up? Was, was this something that was important? You say I always wanted to be a princess. Now yes. you have your opportunity. So you were a fan, obviously. I'm a huge fan. I'm, I'm a huge just Disney fan in general, but definitely the D Disney princesses. That was, a, that was a big thing for me. And, and next, you got an upcoming movie musical. Yeah. The Color Purple, produced by Oprah. Yeah. But I, I read this, I'm like, I wonder what this is. You say Oprah owes you one. Listen, um, so <laughs> we were shooting and it was crazy hectic and then, you know, with COVID, every, everything going on, um, just having to be super careful. So we pushed back a few times on shooting and um, I was supposed to be on my way to Europe and it was my birthday. Mm. And I ended up coming in and shooting on my birthday. So Oprah was like, you know, thank you so much for coming in. And I was like, you know what? You owe me big time. You owe me really, <laughs> really big time. But I was just honored to be there and grateful. I, I was just, you know, messing with with her a little bit. But it's, it's nice to be able to say, you know, Oprah owes me. Well, she's a great gift giver, <laughs> so I have a feeling something's probably coming your way. <laughs> Maybe a car, who knows? <laughs> oh, oh yeah, you get a car. <laughs> Why not? Why throw it out there? You never know. You may show up at home, there's something new in the driveway. Right. Well, Gabriella Wilson, we're so happy that you're here. We're happy you're Belle. We're happy you're in Beauty and the Beast. Cannot wait to see it. Thank you so much. Congratulations on everything. And Beauty and the Beast, a 30th Celebration airs December 15th at 8 p.m. Eastern right here on ABC. Make sure you check it out, everybody. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.